Exclusive. Hi guys, I'm Kate Bernat, Red Eyes Nightlife Reporter. New Year's Eve is coming up, which means you're probably going to be drinking champagne. And I know you think that there's some super suave way that you're gonna open this bottle and like impress all your friends and like pop that bottle just, you know, just enough and everyone's like, oh, oh damn, okay. Yeah, no, more than likely you're, you're gonna fumble with it. It's, it's, it's not pretty. I worked for a few years in high school and college in a BYOB French bistro. I always worked New Year's, so I had to get really good at it, like fast. I'm opening like hundreds of bottles of wine a night. So I've learned a couple things. I'm here to help, and uh, this, is what, this is what I've learned. This is how not to screw it up and hurt yourself and risk ocular injury. So here we go. So step one, you're gonna take your bottle of 2004 Dom Perignon, Ace of Spades, Andre, your finest bottle, and uh, you're gonna wanna remove the foil from the top. So hold it like this and just kinda start wherever. Now, you can do this with just, you know, your fingernail. If you have a wine key, which, pro tip, use the term wine key instead of, you know, corkscrew or whatever, and you'll just earn extra wine cred. So you take your wine key, that can kind of help you over here. See, now this is interesting. This cap says, enjoy safely, please read warning below. Like, this is some serious, you could hurt, this is dangerous. Do I get workman's comp if I hurt myself doing this? So step two, now that you've removed the foil, you're going to want to take off the cage, which is this little silver wire guy here. So pull out the pin, and then you're gonna give it twists, about six of them. Now, some people will want to remove the cage entirely here. I keep it on because, for a few reasons. One, um, it helps you get some grip on the cork, and two, um, if the cork does accidentally kind of fly off, it's gonna minimize um, a lot of the you know, a lot of the force of it. So I say loosen the cage, like give it a good shake, but keep it, keep it on there. So step three, we're going to actually remove the cork. Now, a lot of people think that there should be this huge like kaboom and like champagne flying everywhere. Number one, that wastes champagne, which good God. Two though, that's not really the most proper way to open it. Actually, it should be a really, a really quiet, um, kind of like a hiss, like that's what you're aiming for, not the like kaboom. Um, so, step three, turn the bottle to a 45 degree angle, hold it um, in your hand at a, at a 45 degree angle and warm up the neck. That's gonna help, uh, gonna help the cork come out a little easier. So you're holding it like this, you're warming it up, good grip on the cork. And then you're not actually going to rotate the cork, you're gonna rotate the bottle against the cork. So the cork stays still, it's the bottle that rotates. All right, not exactly quiet, but not, I mean, we lost no champagne and like, you know, it's all in there, Whew. easy. So step four, now you're actually going to pour the wine for your awesome friends and or just for yourself. So you've got your, uh, your wine flute here and um, again, 45 degree angle is always the name of the game. So hold it by the neck again um, and you're just gonna give it See that nice angle there? It's gonna keep all the foam from going crazy. Kind of straighten it out at the very end. Give it a little toss. And there we go, beautiful. Here you go, you're gonna, you're gonna cheers with your friends, maybe get kissed at midnight, all because you opened this bottle of wine properly. So, cheers guys, happy New Year's. Thank you.